Sometimes you want to display live information in a PowerPoint presentation. Maybe you need to display scores or results in real time to people on a television screen. A manager needs to see production figures of a factory at his desk. People on the floor need to know their targets, etc. This can be accomplished with data-driven presentations. To display numbers and figures, you don't use a word processor, but a spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel. There, you can enter your raw data and make some simple or complex calculations. Of course, you don't want to display an Excel sheet on your message board with grid lines, etc. But you need presentation software like Microsoft PowerPoint. PowerPoint is the ideal software for presentations, but it's static. There is a tool, DataPoint, available that allows you to create dynamic presentations with live data from Excel worksheets. Some people tend to copy and paste Excel objects in their PowerPoint, but that's not done. It will even not update automatically over the network. You see the Excel grid lines in a presentation, which is not professional looking. You can use the data only from the Excel worksheet, but you do the formatting in your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. You can emphasize which text boxes are more important by setting a color or a more important position on the slide. It may be an arrow pointing to this value and some animation. PowerPoint, with its data from Excel, gives you more control. Let me show you how easy you can display live information from an Excel worksheet in a PowerPoint and update in real time. Okay, I have here a Microsoft PowerPoint template. I click data point, then list of the connections. I go to the Excel files and I add a connection pointing to my file. Click the browse and I select my sales report here. Click the open. Okay. Now I rename this connection. And I'm going to add a query. So I see a list of all the sheets that are in the Excel file. By product is OK. And now the range. I have to indicate the range that I want to use in my report. I see here that A7 is the starting value. And the range ends at E33. So that's the minimal range that I need in my Excel. So, okay, I start using the range A7 column E33. Maybe it's a good idea to extend the range, the uh, lower range to E1000. Um, so maybe we can have more rows, more data in the future. So I check the first row contains the field names. I click OK. I rename the query. And you see the preview of the data already and we click OK to close the connections. Now I select a table. I already have here a table of five columns. I click data point, table. I select the data connection. I check the option to copy the column names to the first row of a table. You see that the start filling data at row is increased to two by that reason and I click OK. And now the information of the Excel range is copied into the PowerPoint table. Now I click Slideshow, Setup Slideshow. I check the show type and I set this to Browse at a kiosk. I click OK. And now I can start the Slideshow. DataPoint will now monitor the Excel file. And you can open the Excel file on another computer make changes to the data and save the Excel file. DataPoint will monitor the Excel file and in the event of new information, DataPoint will update the information here live in the slideshow. So you don't have to interrupt the running slideshow to update the content of your normally static PowerPoint presentation.